further on in the buzz. <laughs> buzz. <laughs> What we gonna do right here is go back, way back, back in the time. Sky, are you? All the respect them eyes so good. Like a flag, hear me now. Some booty, dig it way. Entertainment buzz are the real thing, man. Sky. Now, our feature presentation. Yes, sir. We want to say a very special welcome to the E-Buzz. I'm DJ Bones. And I'm Kishima Francis. Also want to say good night to our listeners, pal, especially to those persons who are listening to IRFM on the go using the IRFM mobile app. Remember, it's absolutely free. Like that pun there. Absolutely free. Uh, you, know, you understand. All right, so it, it's the entertainment buzz. This is bold, unbiased, zooming in on the hottest in entertainment. Follow us on our social media pages right now. Uh, Instagram, IRIFM underscore JA. Twitter, IRI underscore FM. And feel free to f- join us on Facebook at IRIFM. Busy show tonight, um, mm-hmm. as usual. Um, so we have a couple of uh, big ups. And we're also going to be talking to Kemar Flavor McGregor. Very, very uh, heated conversation. It I know, it, it and I think um, there is a conversation that started online. I don't know if you've seen like the post from the IRFM social media page, so should be an interesting conversation later. Yes. Also, our music artist, Jeff Martin, a.k.a. The Sheriff, and our artist, Topman, is also here, mm-hmm. plus the host of other features and bits of information that we will be giving uh, and the to hot you. topics. Of course. Uh, first one is not the happiest topic, but uh, mm-hmm. it's the death of one of Buju's sons. So, Jazeel Mairi, who is Buju's son, uh, of, and um, is more than the loss of his brother, Miles Mairi. Um, in a social media post on April 1, I almost, when, it's, when it happened on April 1, I was one of his Tom Fool. You know, yeah, but, like an April Fool um, joke you know, or something. It, mm-hmm. Right. So, Jazeel shared a photo of him and Miles, which included a broken heart emoji to the sound of Popcorn song, only Jano for the background music. IRFM sources say Miles was only 20 years old wow. and was living in the United States at the time of his death. However, the, the cause of his death is not, not yet known. So mm-hmm. condolences. But, you know, sending our condolences um, to the family. family. Can just imagine, you know, how difficult it is losing a, a, a child, you know, for That'd a father. Easy. Um, any parent and a mother, so sending love and light and condolences to the family. Yeah, uh, obviously there obviously seems to be a very tight connection or close connection with Jazeel and, and Miles. Uh, mm-hmm. But of course, you know, condolences to Buju and the entire family and all the, the, all the children, because there are quite a few of them. But yes. uh, big up Buju and, and the family. We wish you all the best and hold mm-hmm. strain, hold strong. Um, so we have some celebrities dropping into Jamaica. Yeah, Paris Hilton. I mean, she is in Jamaica lobbying for the return of American boys following allegations of abuse. So she was at a press conference today and we actually have the audio so we can play that for our listeners. This is what she said. Hundreds of thousands of youth experience this war today and I am dedicated to eliminating child abuse and neglect in youth residential programs. I've been entrenched in this work and I honestly thought I had seen it all until recently. This is a human rights and children's rights issue. The U.S. government can and should do more to protect kids like these. My visit here is a show of support for the action that has been taken and for encouraging the U.S. government at all levels to take this issue seriously and to act with urgency. While we wait for the government to take action, survivors will continue to uncover the broken system and expose those for putting profits over the well-being of our most vulnerable youth. We will protect the powerless ourselves. So the Child Protection and Family Services Agency, CPFSA, they reported earlier that during a visit, signs of abuse and neglect were observed leading to the removal of the teens from the facility for their safety. And this happened in February. And in the clip, you will hear Paris kind of allude to her being in a similar situation when she was a teen. So, you know, because of that, she is really, it's a cause that hits close to home for her. 
don't look good for us either for that to be happening. No, not at all. No, no, no. Not at all. And no. and even though we're following the story, we're just we're not certain in terms of the type of abuse. You know, you're, you're right. Or, uh, or, or any details, you yeah, know, like... Tears to abuse, it could be verbal, mm -hmm. you know, mental, it could be physical. Yes. So we need to, we'll, I guess, as the story unfolds, we'll find out the mm -hmm. details. And I, I presume investigations continue, then we will hear more um, from the situation. But just the mere fact of her, her presence being here, mm -hmm. we understand that she flew in on a helicopter down into St. Elizabeth just to, to make her presence felt and the support... Mm -hmm. And um, also just encouraging the United States government to take mm -hmm. this And her serious. speech and just saying that, look, she will get to the bottom of it and, you know, lobbying for the boys to be returned. So, Yeah, that's a big deal. I'm telling you, Jamaica is one heavy spotlight on the world. It's Little Rock. I, I tell know, you. right? Good right. or bad. So riding in on the success of the Bob Marley One Love biopic, the mm -hmm. movie makers have partnered with the Congressional Black Caucus Foundation to announce the Bob Marley uh, One Love Social Impact Scholarship in honor of Marley's legacy and his message of unity, which is a big thing. Uh, so in sharing the news, the official social media pages of the King of Reggae wrote that the scholarships valued at about 5,000 US dollars each will benefit 10, <coughs> sorry about that, 10 current undergraduate students at selected historically black colleges and universities pursuing social justice-related degrees, and the participating schools include Morehouse College, Florida A&M University, and Spelman College, among others. So that's a big thing. I would just love for some of those things to happen for us here, too. I mean, in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. An extension. Don't an extension. I was, I was listening. Did you say um, UE? Yes, I did. You know, did girl, you, you say that? Yeah, you're a goodie. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> But um, nonetheless, yes. it's you still, a, you know, it's it's, it's a yeah. great um initiative, and you know, yes, yeah. it's a, it's a great thing, and um, we'd love it to be extended here in Jamaica, seeing mm -hmm. that Bob Marley is from here. So no, absolutely, I think that is something that we need to look into really quickly. And um, another big thing you can probably yeah, Yaks, Yaksta, Yaksta. Did you? I mean, over the holiday, you know, right? You, there were reports that he met in an accident, and you know, I guess people were wondering if he was okay. So he basically did a video just to let his fans and and family and everybody know that look, I am okay. So thankfully, you know, nothing um, extreme happened as a result of of that accident that transpired. You know, I can't just imagine like you know how we felt. And, and the emotions and, and things running through his mind when that accident occurred. In a foreign country. In, in a, a foreign in country. In a foreign country, maybe the first time, maybe the second time mm -hmm. in Europe. So, you know, and, you know, in Europe, it's a lovely place, but, you know, they drive crazy over there, especially in that area of Germany. Germany is where all the nice cars are, the, the Lamborghini, the Ferrari, mm -hmm. the, you know, the Mercedes. So I tell you. So we're just glad that Yaksta is good. He's okay, and absolutely. He's, and he's continuing with his music there. Um, also, Ragging King calls for assistance for disabled community, which is a great call on, on his side. A dancehall artist, Ragging King, is calling for help in establishing a platform for helping physically challenged persons in Jamaica because, you know, he has his own challenges. Mm -hmm. So in making the call, the entertainer says many persons from the wheelchair community, which is actually quite a big community, have approached him seeking assistance, but he lacks knowledge on how to establish an official platform to help. Brother, check it out and just do it, because it can be done. Ragging King was shot seriously and seriously injured in a gun attack in Westmoreland in, in about four years ago, June 2020. Mm -hmm. And the DJ who says he is determined to walk again is now based in the States, and uh, which enables him to receive advanced therapy in a bid to improve his physical mobility. One of the things, you know, is your mindset because he has always had a mindset that he's going to walk again. Mm -hmm. and, and, and he has told us that like many times on this platform. Many, many times. Mm -hmm. I wish and I hope for him that that will happen because it will be a life changer. I mean, he had his mobility before and for it to be taken from him 
to in just abruptly. a split second, yeah. you know, like you really have to live just like that, just a stop of a finger. And in, 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 it's a great it's a great initiative that he has embarked on and asking for assistance. And also we know bones, especially in Jamaica, like there aren't enough wheelchair access to like a lot of places, restrooms, businesses and that sort of thing. So while we're on the subject, that is something that we need to look into as well. I totally agree with that. Uh, another thing that I think we need to look at is making these mobility utensils. I'm talking a wheelchair, prosthesis, mm -hmm. legs, arms. Mm -hmm. They are so urgent, but they can't be priced out of the people's reach. These things Who are extremely, it, yes. yeah, there has to be a way mm -hmm. to subsidize them so that, because sometimes it's like a farmer man, I cut him, I do him land and him drop and broke something and him, or he has sugar and his leg was amputated. And then you hear that one of these prostheses costs millions of dollars. Mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. we have to find a way to subsidize these things so these people who probably don't have the financial resources like some mm -hmm. others can still gain access. Can, can, yeah. can, can take advantage of it. So these mm -hmm. are things we need to look into and it's a big thing. But we're going to take a break and we'll be right back with more of the e-buzz right here. Carb sales, number one for home and hardware. Call us at 876-954-2220 or visit us at Main Street in Duncan Strelawney. The time is 8.45 p.m. Well, first party up. Ready? Mm -hmm. We are Soka Kula Fet Mobe Carnival. I mean, this is in your place. Well, it's the same parties. I mean, the series. <laughs> you know, there's a series of parties. We're going to be talking to Selena Smith, and um, we're going to be finding out more about We Are Soka, the cooler fit. Mm -hmm. Selena? Is it? Where is it? Who is on the bill? Welcome, Selena. Hi, hi. Thanks for having me. We are Good very night. happy to have you. All right. So, Selena, We Are Soka, cooler fit, Moby, the carnival, you know, carnival style. Where is it? When is it? What time we need to get there? What's the admission? And who do you have as the entertainment? Or who's on the bill? All right, so we're back for another staging in Montego Bay at Tier 1. This Saturday, April 6th. You can't miss it. Right. It's Carnival Weekend. You have to come. Come out with your igloo. Come out with your crew. Um, you can grab your pre-sold tickets for just three thousand dollars, or you pay three five at the gate. Okay. And you know we always have something special going on for our supporters. We have college students with a valid college ID pay just two thousand at the gate. That's it. Um, you what? That's it. That's just two thousand. That's absolutely awesome. And what time? And who are the people you have on the bill? All right, so we have some of the best DJs. Um, we have first time in Montego Bay playing at We Are Soca. We have DJ TZ. We have, you know, King Taj. We have DJ Smoke, DJ Parks, and Kurt Riley, the party animal. What? Yes, yes, yes. We have a wicked lineup. All right, so the thought was about the cooler, the cooler part of it now. You bring your cooler. What is it? You can just come with your cooler stocked with your drinks? Come with your cooler, stuck with your liquor. But the thing is, you have to get your chasers and your ice at the bar. Let me just repeat that. The Good. chasers okay. and the ice at the bar. Yeah, because I know so there has to be some mm -hmm. conditions bringing in the cooler like that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, so you so can bring whatever, whatever liquor you want, but as long as you're getting a chaser mm -hmm. and this stuff. Right. If God. you want to bring a case ahead, you see a case JB, whatever you want to do. But no suppose, problem. Suppose I don't drink chaser. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> well, I guess you need work? it on the rocks. You still have well, to get the ice. Suppose, suppose I'm doing neat. The ice at the bar. Suppose I'm doing neat. The, the ice at the bar. Whichever way they do it, we are so can welcome everybody. Whatever. I love how you say that. Is. Yeah, man, we welcome you. All Remind right. us again of the ticket outlets and where we can and, and the admission to get in. All right. So three thousand pre-sold, three thousand five hundred at the gate. College student, valid ID, only place, um, pay $2,000. We have tickets available on St. James Street, Montego Bay at Best Choice. We have tickets at Tier 1, Montego Bay, GV Gas Station, that's in Lucy. Right. We have Rubis Gas Station in Hopewell, and we have Best Choice in Falmouth. So what we try to do, and let's not forget Fontana Pharmacy, out by Fairview, what we try to do is put more ticket outlets out there so it's more easy for them to access. 
All right. Well, I want to thank you, Selena, so much for telling us about the party. Uh, so it is We Are Soka Kula Fet, Mobe Carnival. And it's this Saturday, right, at Pier 1? This Saturday at Pier 1. So is it at the same right. big empty space right side at the big... Because your thing can't hold inside, you know? Well, it's the big empty space. Right. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull Ram it up. up. want it packed. Ram it up. It yes. will be packed, as <laughs> usual. All right, Celia, thank you so Selena much. Smith, we wish you all the best. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Respect. Yeah, and man. Piece of, that was Selena Smith, promoter of We Are Soka Cooler Fet Mobe Carnival. So you Say go? no, we're bones going to be on the weekend. You know, Sam is not a carnival person, do you? Every time, <laughs> first of all, we need, we need double D fart if my waist work. You know, I'm, and, and, and I need knee replacement, and I have other issues that are from health. So I'm going to oh, ask gosh. Roshona to um, help me with the, 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 the double D fart. You couldn't buy like a double D fart for me? Mm-mm, you want to see the dirty look what she give me? No, double D farty. <laughs> By the way, big up my brethren, Charlie Blacks. Whoa. He's going to be hey, doing Charlie, his. Charlie, big up. Yeah, man. Charlie's having his um, big birthday bash down in, in Trelawney, the Trelawney Stadium. It's happening on 6th of April, too. So he might do. Sean Paul and Kimani Mali. It's a good look. Oh my goodness. And Chronic it's great law. that, you know, Charlie's taking that to Trelawney, you know, says his parish theme place hey. and, you know, bringing all that excitement to your parish is a good look. One of the things I love about Charlie is that from mm-hmm. he got his break in this business, he has always represented Trelawney. The man always said country boy. And mm-hmm. he said Trelawney, me born and Absolutely. Grow. So, Charlie... Your big party this weekend. I wish you all the best with it. I mean, Kimani Mali, Sean Paul, a host of big artists that are going to be there. Quality. Yeah, man, quality. Yeah, hey, Charlie, big up. Charlie. Charlie. <laughs> it's a good look. Now, right now, of course, you know, every week we provide a platform for upcoming talent. Yes. And this week, our music artist is Jeff Martin, the sheriff. You know, say. What a name. You know, say, first of all, we don't know how him named Sheriff. I know. <laughs> yeah. But we want to welcome. Sure there has to be a story. Yeah. So, Jeff Martin, a.k.a. the Sheriff, we want to welcome you to the boss, first Thank of all. Thank you very much. How you doing, my boss? Respect, man. Looking Every rich. Time. Looking rich. <laughs> We're looking at the biography of you. You are a very extensive traveler and a man who tours a lot. Talk to us about your musical journey. How you get into this thing? It's something that you just... Dropping her, or you know, it was something that you wanted to do. How oh, you started your music? Born in a man, born a born trench in music. town. All right, trench town, trench mm-hmm. town, where the music born. Right. That's where my born. And how the music start for you? Well, at the age nine year old, my father buy me a guitar. All right. Mm-hmm. After I buy me the guitar, I think I'm an artist, I'm hey. a musician. Hey. So I <laughs> start write my own song, them and start playing church. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that's where you, you start in church. That's the, right? Right, the holy place, <laughs> yes. And start play all kind of music and then me find say, I'm a musician. Yeah. So, and you love it. Now me love it. So I get a little bus and start tour. Yeah. You know? Tell us some of the places you've toured. Like, well, how did the tour thing happen? Where All you go? over, man. I go Canada, I go Germany, France, Italy. I go Europe. You're all through Europe. And so. mm-hmm. The only two places I never go in are the US, are, um, which part about my band. The place on so my Hawaii? Hawaii all and right. Alaska. Well, but you don't need to go to Alaska because everybody uh, got to freeze and ask. No, yeah. no, 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 Jeff, Jeff Martin, the <laughs> sheriff. What's the ideology behind your name? How the sheriff, um, you know, how did you get the sheriff onto your name? Oh, when I was born, my mother called me Lloyd Valando Pecu. What? Hmm. And Near expensive, sir. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Valando Pecu. Uh, and... Uh, I didn't really like the name Lloyd because they don't mm-hmm. they don't say Lloyd, you know. They say Lloyd. Lloyd, yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, Jimmy, or they call you Lloydy. Lloydy. Yeah. So I, I never <laughs> too like that thing, you know. Yeah. But mm-hmm. yeah. I just tell myself, say, a name Jeff. And you know you have to have a surname because the name Peku, you know. It's that so sounds very Indian. Indian too, you know. Very yeah, Indian. Yes, yes, so yes. I never too like that part than either. Yeah, yes. So yes. I said, I am Jeff Martin. And when we start go school though, I realize that 
You can't just mess with me and get away with it. I'm the sheriff. Oh, got you. <laughs> so I, I want to talk to us. I want you to tell us a little bit about this latest music that you have out called Decriminalize. Yeah, Decriminalize the Weed now is a music where I notice that uh, the world think them 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 are ocean pintry with it, you know, so them decriminalize it. But you only can carry a certain mm -hmm. amount. Because it's not legalized. Right. You only can have a certain amount with you. And, uh, and them now look on it and say, it's for the, e the herb. It's the healing of the nation. I see. Mm -hmm. And when a I, lot of artists say that. Say when, I come down with cancer, when I come down with cancer, some years mm -hmm. ago. Tell me. Oh, uh -huh. And them want me to do all kind of... All kind of things. And and therapy and, and, and all that. Mm -hmm. Then they want to cut you and all them things. Are the weed? Oh, yes. Wow. Are the weed heal me, you know? So you don't have cancer again? The cancer gone? When we drink weed tea. Oh! Can't wow. Have cancer when we eat tea, no? What you saying to me? You have to, you have to work on the weed. So is it the cancer... Um, journey that you had that uh, that helped you to do this song now? Yeah, I write this tune from 2019, you know. That's so long. I'm put it down. Oh, what you <laughs> to me? So let me ask you a question. In terms of you getting the break that you wanted to get, what do you think you're going to get that break in terms of the the, uh, the big boss, that's what they call it. Mm -hmm. Because you have toured extensively, you know, you, you, you do, you're not a novice to it. No, no printer to no, the No, you must remember the, the, the music, the journey carry two things, you know, fame and money. That's true. So if you smart, you take the money and load the fame. If I'm going to mm. have that with two bullets, I'm not the fame. You want the money. Want the money. Because sometimes yeah, the money, you so can't buy all... about the people and we don't hear about the sheriff. <laughs> well, we're going to hear the sheriff right now. What we'd love for you to do, see him? Introduce your tune in a your style. And we will just play it here, so. Yeah. Decriminalize the weed. And the world will support it. Decriminalize weed. See him singing it, you know? Decriminalize weed. Decriminalize ganja. What's up? The world will support it. Drop it! Drop Run it! it! Run it! <laughs> So, well, I don't know. The sheriff. A Spanish here, yeah, but you know, a while ago. Yes, man, and German. How oh, will you say? My oh, mommy live in Europe for years, you know, man. Me go muy grande problema, so, señor. So, sheriff, <laughs> what you say? It, 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 talk to us about, like, I mean, yeah. like, like you mentioned earlier, you have, you have traveled extensively, you know, yeah. doing the music. Do you have, like, a standout performance or an experience from any of the countries that you have been to? That you can share with us. Yes, I do a few songs with some guys never like. I did a song with them, Dead Beat Boy. And you know, and the Dead Boy Beat Boy, they never like that song there, you know. So how them react to you? Well, 
some up, stage, yeah. some stage you go up and, and you know, man, not no really forward the thing, you know. But yeah. I did a song nowhere. I said, no girl should be alone. And when I performed that, the girl then run up on stage and lift me up and walk me around the stage. I saw strong girl them there. <laughs> I must mean, so strong girl and lift you up. <laughs> away, I say. But you know, one of the things, what, what, what is more, most insightful when I'm hearing your story is about how the weed help you with your cancer. Mm -hmm. Because that is something, you know, when we do Rebel Salute, there's always that area about the herb curb. And there's a symposium talking about the medicinal benefits of weed. And um, obviously, it has helped you a lot. And um, I think now we've gone from the point from decriminalization now to we want it to be legalized. Yeah, for, for real. Because you did cut that. Cut out the ocean pinch thing, man. <laughs> ocean pinch. Yeah, man. <laughs> cut, cut out the ocean pinch thing, man. Decriminalize the weed. Legalize. Legalize the weed. Yeah, Let yeah. the weed, man. Let me ask it, you something. It's like uh, when, yeah. uh, when this alcohol thing come in. Yes. You know, say. Nobody never want to legalize the, 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 the alcohol. And as soon as America legalize alcohol and start yum food or fight, everybody jump on the bag wagon and know you have alcohol out there. Sell. And the same thing now with the weed. Get, so, get to so, the program. Get to the program. Sh sure, if you know what I want to ask you, because yeah. like Bones kind of alluded to it shortly, like your story about being cured from cancer, you know, through yeah. the marijuana, the medicinal um, uh, properties of it. Do you share this story in your performances? Like talk to people, especially yeah. to strengthen um, the song that you have out now? Yes, I try my best to push it out as far as I can and as hard as I can. And most of the media, they might play it now, like all of the platform, them have it. And I tell everybody, the weed is the healing of the nation. And, I and it never... has healed you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, how, how, I... Does people, how do people um, react to you saying that, you know, the marijuana heal your cancer, like you don't have cancer no more? Well... Some people who believe in just where the doctor juke them. Pharmaceuticals. Them. Yeah, and them big don't pharma. really believe in a the in a the in, in a the healing of the herb. But most like down in Africa, my song I, I do good down there because them deal with weed, them deal with herb, them them not deal with the doctor thing too. So they tough. can relate to the so, kind of medicine. Yeah, but benefits. some of the people them not really get it yet. But then we soon get it. Well, there's studies going on yeah, with, with, with marijuana in terms of the different aspects and elements of it that really helps with nervousness. It helps with cancer, as you say, anxiety. It helps with um, pain uh, mm -hmm. for one of the things I know. And it make you eat. You hear me say, Lord, that guy, it make you yam. Yes, yes, it make you eat. Yes, open your appetite. <laughs> open your appetite. And, and, and a man now go smoke a spliff and I look no why with nobody. I'm just go roll a medi. And yes. then go reason with them brethren them. What I, I can't. And it good for. Remember, I know it good for headache. It the weed, the herb do a, do a lot of things. You know, it good for a lot of things. So let me ask you, um, the sheriff, how do people book you? I want you to find out from you who is management. How do people book you? They want I'm going to give you the joke. Yes. My mother called me <coughs> Lloyd Valando Peku. And mm -hmm. me call me Jeff. So the artist is Jeff Martin, the sheriff. Right. And mm -hmm. then my manager is Lloyd Peku. So, so you is, is you. Yeah. So when you want <laughs> when you want to book the artist, no, you, you call up 813-704-7179. And, and Lloyd Peku will uh, deal book. with you. Book. Like book people the will book Jeff. We'll book the sheriff. Yes. Mm -hmm. Social media. Are you on there? Tell us your social media handles. Yeah, I'm on all platforms. I remember I'm in the business. The, no, the 50 years. Get it by Instagram. But yes, that, that's what I'm saying. Yes, like man. being being in the business, like you said, you know, for 50 years, and you would have seen the evolution, you know, yes. from vinyl. Mm -hmm. Um, cassette, so see, cassette, CD, CD everything, no, man. MP3. From vinyl, come down, my daddy, man. <laughs> Um, how do you find the social media Jeff space? and the Universal. Jeff and the Universal. 
Now, how do you find the transition? How, how, how you find the space, like, to get your music out there? I mean, you use it often, you like it, you know, like it. What, what are your thoughts about social media in general? Oh, man, they know that's all the business they know, man. The social media push thing, man. May I have a, a, a virgin name, them, name what? Disco Kid? Disco Kid, them? Mm. Yeah, I, I, them distribute it, them put it everywhere. Oh, so, you, so you have somebody managing your social media for you? Yes, and then may have kids, my kids them um, work because oh. and, and may have. Uh... You see, my, my lady there. Uh, <laughs> hey, Kishima, me have to go, me go latch up. We say you have one lady inside. As you look for her, man, he just a grin from ear to ear. So yeah, have, you know, like the smile is. So you look at the shirt. Hear me, no? And me have. <laughs> <laughs> I just say, and me have. No, <laughs> she's not the back girl. She <laughs> not in the up she front. Thing, was, you know? But you up up up, 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 no. Mm. We need to know your social media so yes, that people can. Jeff and the Universal. Is that on? Jeff J E F F uh -huh. and A N D yeah. the Universal. Universal. At what, on Instagram and uh, everywhere, all the platforms. Instant. Anywhere music sell, the sheriff music is there too. Uh, and you know, me, me, the difference with me and most of the Jamaicans artists, them, you know, is that me sing the music in a seventeen languages. You know. What? <laughs> You mean yeah. like every song that you put out, that's a conscious effort to put it out in 17 well, languages? Well, right now, this, this weed song, I'm in the studio doing some more languages on this one. I want to put this one in all the languages that I speak. How many languages did you many, know? Yeah. So far, you know, me only do 17, you know? No, no, right no. now, a 17 languages, a song, you know? Or how many languages? No, I don't know. Well, right now, I have, have it in a, in a three language. Okay. No, but remember, it just, go, it just gone out less than a month now. Yeah. Got you, got you, yeah, got you. I'm in the studio now, Converting but voicing the, the other rest languages. of languages. Um, awesome, it, awesome. You know, because I, I want this one to eat the year wave big, you know. I want the world to support it. All right, sir. So, let me ask you something, Jeff. Anybody you want big up? Yes, man. Got you. I want to big up Sweets. We're in the studio with you right oh, now. Oh, she named Sweets. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This song say yeah. Sweetie Land. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And I want to big up Lavinia. Anyway, she there, I know. Um, I know she's supposed to take in the sheriff still, now her father. And Michaela, Shadwick, yes. Ricky Briggs. Right. Yeah, uh, him depend him the thing too. You know? All right. Yeah. All right. And them, I'm a backbone in this thing. And if I start calling him now tonight, this show sure, not go done. done, you know. So, so true. I just want to big up the world, you know, and all of my followers, them, and all of the people who help me on my journey coming up, you know. We want to thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, and man. we want people to go out and support Decriminalize Weed. It's on all digital platforms. All digital see. platforms. And of course. All right, Jeff Martin, the sheriff. Thank you so much for coming through. Yeah, man. Thank you for having me. All right, my boss. Respect. Rich, rich, my friend. Rich. <laughs> Big up. All right. So that's Jeff Martin, our music artist. We just spoke with him. And uh, what's up next? We got, we got a lot of things going on tonight. Mm -hmm. We have a lot. I think um, we're going to go to... The big up, we have a big up coming up, so we're gonna jump to that. Uh, brunching on the beach, hey, a peer party, you know. Let me mm -hmm. tell you, brunching on the beach. Let me see, okay. Let's talk to Rohan Searchwell. Rohan, welcome to the eBuzz. Brunching on the beach, good night, good night, good night, everyone. Rohan, where are you, Bridget? Good night, I love Hello, it. Man. Hey, Rohan, brunching on the beach. Why you not stop him? Man? You not Talk to us. What can we uh, expect? What time should we come out on yes. the beach? Uh, what time your gates open? What's the admission? Who is on the bill? Okay. Um, yeah. That's first and foremost. I want to give God thanks and praise for this another time. to Another Blessings. edition. Blessings. And um, for this edition, we are telling you, it's going to be exciting. Uh, the last two was very very, very um, good, and we get requested by our fans, right. patrons. And we have to keep it again, so we're here bigger and better. What to expect is loads of fun, loads of excitement, just partying, drinking, and just enjoy yourself. You know what i That to expect. Um, art, we have um, artistry, um, we have Spice, Valiant, Taekwon, um, Moyan, High Flames, and Damian Style. A um, big lineup, the, that man. Yeah, man. They say we got big man. We got big. We got, we got entertain the world right here in St. Yeah, Mary. man. Mm. Yeah. So like how the lineup so big, how the admission look? 
You know, sir, the admission is very reasonable. So it's a food inclusive event, as you know. Um, sure. So it's 5,000 pre sold and 6,000 at the gate. A right. VIP 7,000 pre sold and 8,000 at the gate. And very reasonable. And where is it being held again? I know it's in St. Mary, but where exactly? Uh, D Shore, Party Beach, ah, St. Mary. D Shore. This is right awesome. At the beach. Spice, Valiant, Moyan, Jaquan, and Kaka High Flames. That little young yes, youth, they're talented in you know, the High Flames. Yeah, man. Yeah. We are, we are giving <laughs> them, um, we are giving a variation so the old can come, the young can come, everyone can come to this event. God, we have everyone cover. Mm, it's a that. nice mix. I know you gave us the admission, but um, do we get tickets only at the gates or do you have ticket outlets? Okay, you can purchase tickets at aitix.com. Um, you can follow yep. us on uh, Brunch in the Beach, JA and IG. You can follow us on Brunch in the Beach um, on YouTube, Brunch in the Beach on Facebook, and Brunch in the Beach on TikTok. And you'll get all the information there. Uh, we have tickets all this in Otrius at Blingers um, Police Station, the one in Police Station Road. We have Sharkies in um, St. Anne's. We have McDonald's Supermarket in St. Mary. Also, mm -hmm. Chicken Nut in St. Mary. Also, g in St. Mary. Also, Bob Super Savers in St. Mary. Buff Bay um, Gas Station, Texas Gas Station in Buff Bay. Uh, we have in Montego Bay. We have uh, all over the island. But it's just after, we can't name out everything. You know what I mean? Because it's just so long. Um, for what what on the menu? We have coconut lobster. We have um, um, shrimp shawmin. We have pineapple jerk chicken. We have jerk pork. Um, the menu is awesome, you know. And remember, it's a food inclusive, so you pay and you eat as much as you want. So well and run with all that the menu. We just saying, I and I is a vegan. How the I and I? We I and I food there. Uh, well, yeah, we eat ice cream. <laughs> so you have to get out of vegetable and beans and them something there. Well, um. Um, we have to look into that part about that. Uh, we, we can't get everybody. I'm trouble, I'm trouble, man. <laughs> hey, Rowan, let me tell you something. I only want to wish you all the best with this event. Mm -hmm. I'm, I am loving the lineup and I'm loving the package. And the price point is good for what you're offering. And um, I, we wish you be, all the best. It's going to be awesome. And, and you have any sponsors you want to make mention of? Okay, I want to big up uh, Merrick um, Consignment. Um, one of our sponsors, um, Rock Water. Is one of our sponsors and AI Tix is one of our sponsors. So big of our sponsor, and I want to make special mention to my team that does the work night and night in the street, putting the work. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's quite hectic, but we, we are the promotional train. We're almost at the end, so I want to pick up all the team members, um, um, the boss, the lady, Janik, and you know the rest of the team, Lisa. Uh, big up, big up yourself, and thanks for the uh, help so far. And I'm, 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 I'm anticipating a great event. Well, no, I'm, I'm, right. I'm guaranteeing you a great event. Mm -hmm. That lineup. Yeah, brunching on the beach. Brunching on the beach. Big up yourself, search well. Big up every okay. time. Good. Thank you. Enough love and honor. All right, man. Uh, respect, respect. All, All right. right. All right. Of All course, right. that was Rohan, search well promoter of brunching that on the beach. That show sounds awesome. No, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a really good lineup. And like you said, the price is reasonable, it's all inclusive. So, good vibe. All right, we're going to bring in our main artist, not even artist, but producer, but let mm -hmm. us do it this way. Give me a tune. We no bow. No, no, no. We no Gucci and no silver and no gold. We no change. Never go south. We no fear and no cloud. Me really, really no pretend. So me no really keep friend. Me run the city and me run the town. Me keep the key there. I don't creep in. No really need them. Yeah, them eyes out. Them really freeze it. Give them a diamond. It's like creature. The power with this armor card that we tell. We the pun. Top of the game. Somewhere really feels that we fell. Money no. How we never bang the 33 10 no, Stacking no. money, grow officials And if you're bad, mind you for each hell You can never yeah. have walking on me no. shoes With your dirty feet there yeah. Everything me, you me deserve It's me earn it, I'm Mr. Nicky Amila All right, if you're just joining us It is the A-Buzz And we're very happy and pleased to welcome Kemar, Flavor, Flavor McGregor. McGregor So whenever you mean artist, we mean producer <laughs> Right Extraordinaire <laughs> And... <laughs> Hey, the plaques it. behind him. Look, you can't just a producer extraordinary. You know, you have to go um, pop plaques. billboard, nominated <laughs> producer. Plaques and tracks. Yes. You know, and, and Kishima, Flavor, you know something. welcome. It's, it's been a minute. Something at home, so. Oh, well, home, so. All right, we're not hearing camera. Something just popped Can up. Can I hear me? I'm here, man. 
All right, you're here. Okay, okay, we're here. Yeah, man. All right, thanks. I'm here. Kemar. By the way, Kemar, our DJ, our, our engineer here named Kemar, too. So if you hear right. me, I say Kemar, <laughs> it's not you, it's, it's him. But Kemar. All Kemar, all Kemar are great. Yes, I'm great. I'm rich. Toot, 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 toot. <laughs> so, Kemar, you know, I'm looking at your biography. And me, I see the biography. Oh, yeah, off your biography so long, brother. We're going to read out this whole something. But, Ask but, guys. but me see the part where you say you're raised in a man to go be even mention the recite, you left out the whole light. You left you don't remember the part them. No, uh, me, me can't leave out bones. You better not. Me can't leave out bones. Yeah. Can't leave out Can't leave out still a large, still yes. large record. Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah it's can't, okay. we can't, we can't leave out can't leave out the wizard to you don't know. No man. Master no, weird. When I Whole see thing. how you have grown to where you are now. It is just such a good feeling because I know little work you're putting at this thing here, brother. A lot. A lot. A lot, a lot. Mm. A lot of work. Well, a lot of work. Let us, let us sure. kick off sure. with, um, we, we opened the show as part of your introduction with the Elephant Man. So that's your latest project right. where, you know, you, you resample Dave Kelly. We know Tifa is also on the rhythm as well. Say yes. Talk to us about this new rhythm that you have out and who are some of the other entertainers featured on it. Well, okay, so I'm overseas and I'm, I'm working right. with a lot of international, international artists, like, you know, hip hop, pop, pop right. artists, all of them. Right. And one of the things I get every day from them, hey, Kimar, you know, you guys in Jamaica no longer produce dancehall music. And I was like, why are you saying that? They were like, well, the music that you guys produce is typically hip hop and R&B and calling it dancehall and you guys will call it trap, reggae, trap, down, down. But it is hip-hop. And I was like, oh, my God. And I'm talking about from Justin Justin Bieber, all of them, all of these artists, because they know dance art. And, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah they know it. Because all, all of them have been a man, Sim Sima, and the Bounty Gator Party, the Bob Marley, the Butcher Bantam Champion, all of them. them, them all, they, know, they know what is dance all. They might be right. catered on the sizzler. Right. They know what is dance all. You understand me? And then I was like, you know, I, I, I honestly kind of like, you know, kind of move on from producing, you know, reggae and dance all from Jamaica because of, you know, bad experience with the artists. And so I decided I, I just don't want to do it. But then the record label, like the Warner Music, uh, the Sony, the Virgin Records, and then the, the record labels and now started to say to me, ah, Kimar, I'm going to tell you this. I'm going to be honest with you. We will never accept Jamaica selling us hip-hop or selling us America, American music. Because what you guys are doing is American music and we will not buy it from you. But what we will endorse is dance, and reggae. And when he said that to me, I was like, what do you mean by that? He was like, okay, trap music started like 15, 16 years now. And I can tell you, Bones or Kashim, if you, can, if you guys can name me one trap dancer that crossed over in the past 15, 16 years, you guys cannot name one. None. Right? And when he said that to me, I was like, why? They said, we will not allow any of these records to actually cross over. And he said, I'm going to tell you this, Kimar. We remove 99% of all the reggae and dancehall show from mainstream radio. I said, why? Because you guys no longer produce dancehall and reggae. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, so a lot of people don't want to talk about it, but it is reality. Like 99% of all the shows and from, from, from UK to Canada to America, 99% of all the shows that play dance or reggae, they ask them from the radio. And I said, you know what? It's really bad. And I had to go in the studio and I literally replay over 500 dance uh, and reggae beat. Because I said, he said, no, I have to do something about it. And that's how I ended up in the studio. I said, you know what? Um, I, I, Dave Kelly is a legend. Stephen Cleavy, legend. Tony Kelly is a legend. Bobby Digital is a legend. You know, and the King Jammings and a few other people. I said, you know what? Um, I'm gonna, I'm going to, you know, sample 
some of these legends be because I mean if you if you listen to hip hop and R and B, the music is not is not new. These are right. these are a lot of these music are from Motown from the sixties and the seventies. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, these people, like these producers before our time, what they have what they have what they have like the work that they have put in, right? Yeah. The younger generation today don't know it, right? They may know the songs then, but I was like, you know what, why not bring back this? And this is how I decided that I'm going to literally start producing authentic dancehall and authentic reggae and also encourage some of these so-called top artists. So you know what? We we have no problem or issue with teaching you guys how to literally DJ and sing on these beats because the songs that you guys are making, honestly, is from Kingston to Niggle Point or to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Brooklyn, Queens, etc. Nowhere else they're going. Mm -hmm. So well, that's where the concept come up. In some aspects of, of, of your point, not only... Are you hearing this on like on the radios, like mainstream radio, but you're also not hearing it in the clubs? If you go to the clubs, like the slot that they normally have, the 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 the, the Serrani, the Roman Red Bull, like that section in the clubs are being is being replaced right. by Afrobeats because you go no. to the club and that's that's what you're hearing. That's what that's and and the thing about it, the funny thing about it, like Afrobeat, like Afrobeat. Afrobeat is really nineties dancehall. Yeah. So what Afrobeat? What they what they do with Afrobeat? They take the sweet part of the dance of dancehall and 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 create Afrobeat like the Nadine Sutherland action. Yeah. You know that is Afrobeat. You know, Turf, um, I will do anything for you. The Sim Sim of and all that. Those are Afrobeat. It's just the the sweet part of uh, dancehall they took and but I can tell you this, yeah. Afrobeat already fade because dance all and reggae music is here to stay mm -hmm. no i'm telling you it, 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 right now in america afrobeat is starting to remove from the radio station no and it's, uh, music is a cycle but when I, i'm just looking at looking at the internal politics of mm -hmm. the music business when i hear you talking about when you're when you're talking to these record executives and they're saying that they're not doing this because the, you know, you're not producing authentic dancehall or dancehall reggae. One of the things I always wanted to find out from you in terms of the difficulty you have with dealing with these people, how easy or how hard is it for you to sell your product to these companies? Because they seem to be very specific in, in terms of what they want from you as a, as, a, as a producer in terms of what you're putting out. It seems like they're very specific. You know, give me this. I'm not doing this. I'm not backing this. I'm not funding this. I'm not supporting this. And and do you also you. share that information, um, flavor with other, other producers and yeah. industry players? I would say to say to every producer who are listening to the buzz right now, we need to produce authentic reggae. And I turned it down so and even if we gonna the younger generation gonna put a spin on it because yeah. the music do evolve, but we still have to maintain that authenticity, the that true roots. Yes, that true roots and that true dance are. Remember, all of these executive, right, and the hip hop community, they all knew this that hip hop come from dance are. Dance are and reggae is a clearing for hip hop. They, they, they all know this. They, they all know this. So when we start to yeah. produce hip-hop and R&B and give it to them, they feel like it's a slap in the face or a disrespect because mm -hmm. we don't want that from you guys. We want dancehall and we want reggae. So a major label like uh, uh, a Sony, you know, or a Virgin Record, you know, or the other ones, and they... They, they don't know how to market. That is it. The market. These artists, you know, and I can call a few of them, even like Shensi and a couple of them. I know disrespect to them. They don't know how to market them. Because if you're going to give up dance, all and reggae, where are we going to put you? How are we going to market you? And one of the things I wanted to mention too is that when you're talking about hip hop a while ago, it is a derivative. Hip hop was invented by Cool Herc, who is mm -hmm. a, Jam a Jamaican, Jamaican person. Mm -hmm. Who is the exactly? And this is why Biggest Small was so successful in hip hop exactly. because exactly. 
<laughs> you know? So, um, w- yeah. what would you say of, because we have seen, for example, like Skilly Bang, you know, he yeah. has stepped out and what would you say of him and what he has accomplished as somebody from the no generation? I honestly don't think Skilly Bang accomplished anything. Mm-hmm. I, How so? Because, I mean, Skilly Bang... Skilly Bang is literally what a six month or eight month or most of these artists these days are like six, eight month or one year artists. Mm-hmm. You, you understand? And not to and not to disrespect them. As I said to you, once these songs get to mainstream radio, they literally put them into the bin. They will play in Miami, New York, in the tri state, but once they send to the mainstream radio, and they listen to it, they will not accept it as dance uh, and reggae. And this is what hurt a lot of these upcoming artists. Because Skilly Bang is very talented. But yes, the beats, the beats is not, is not, is not dance uh, It is, it is, it is not reggae. And not to, not to come off the subject, but, and this is very important. And I don't want anyone to say, oh, because it's Marley, it's the Marley grandson. Why is record YG why YG record get over a billion stream? If you listen to YG record, it is not um a trap reggae or a trap dancer. It's an authentic reggae song that exists before me, you, um Kitty Mar Bones. But the world appreciate it and it has it one billion. His song too. Mm-hmm. Huh? It samples his father's song. It samples his father's one of father. Yeah. Oh, grandfather. Yes. Yeah, kids. Grandfather. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, so why so why why can't we sample David Kelly? Exactly. Why can't we sample Bob Marley? Why can't we do that? One of the one of the things with the producers today and the artists, they, they they feel like okay, we should not show respect to the legend number four our time. We feel like okay, it's our time now. We don't have to listen yeah. to feel it TV we don't have to listen to Dave Kelly. You understand me? But they're wrong. We have to listen to them. Because they, they fought for this and they give us this, right? Listen, this is our this is our goal and this is our eye. So we have to we have to go and listen to that. Because you know, up to this day, uh huh. One of the things I wanted to find out from you, in terms of the way music is disseminated now, in terms of we have different ways to put it out. Mm-hmm. Back in the day, several platforms. Platforms, Kish, yes. So back in the day, it was radio, dance, dub plate, ate that. And when the songs were put out, they lasted because they didn't have a high frequency of music that's coming at you. No, you have songs coming out every minute, and they're all mm-hmm. play, they played on the radio, they played on the platforms for a week, and they gone two billion views. And the following week, them dead. Nobody don't know where them dead. Do you think that the, the kind of state of music that we have now is it because of the platforms and how high the frequency is in terms of? rotating music because i can put out a song now and it go viral back in the day we never have no term named viral it goes viral the song gone you saw you're popular and then it's like it's so fast do you think that this kind of platform and this kind of frequency is attributing to why we're having so much you know flip-flopping with the music one minute you know it's afrobeat then the next minute say oh we're not doing that we're going to do authentic reggae or we're going to do this or we're going to do that do you think this, the media the, the platforms have anything to do with it i honestly think the platform is is perfect and we okay. need to we need to adapt right and yeah. i can tell you this the the problem is not is not the platform the pl- the problem is is producers, artists, and the quality of music where a lot of, like, for instance, the media in Jamaica, mm-hmm. you'll see a record come out tomorrow morning, and the media will publish that this record get 25 million views or 90 million views. And most of these are, are bots. They're fake. It's not real. Mm-hmm. So, thing, yeah. Most, yeah, so most of it, over for the past 16 years, most of the stuff that go viral in reggae is not real. It's 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 bass. I'm gonna ask you this, Bones and Kishibi. You think that one of these major labels gonna know that a reggae artist is streaming 200 million views and they don't sign them and treat them like Drake or Katy Perry? 
Yeah. So in, in essence and flavor, and this is a conversation that we've had before, that numbers do lie because it can be manipulated. It's a, and bought. Yes. It, it, and bought. And, and, and bought. And a lot of reggae artists, especially the ones now who say that they're so-called the artists think most of their numbers are fake and they're not real. Like, for instance, you look at a lot of these artists, they have, they have 10 million followers and 15 million followers, but they say it's 200 and 300. How, how do you do the maths? It's just, just don't add up. Don't, don't add up. So, so then, um, <laughs> yeah. the streaming platforms, the, the, the new data that so many people gravitate towards like this is in your opinion and you can correct me is this giving um a lot of entertainers like a false sense of stardom because you can have a million followers but you can only generate 10 persons in a venue if booked for an event well see that's what he said that there's, a, there's so much in that because yep. i'm gonna start with this too like a lot of the artists, I'm again, I'm not trying to bash them. I'm trying to like see how we can help them because eventually it's, it's hurting the industry, hurting reggae and dance all. So a lot of the artists, them, they buy followers, they buy likes. And a lot of the reggae shows that keep are, are, like, are like friends, friends that come together and keep these shows in Brooklyn, New York, etc. And what they do, they go by the hype. So they will see an artist of 10 million followers okay. and they fall for that hype. And yeah. book that artist and pay him 200 grand or 100 grand. But then when they go to the concert, they only can sell probably 200 ticket or 50 ticket. And it is reality. You understand? So there's so much, there's so much, um, people hurting from this, this, this so called myth that a lot of the reggae artists and dance artists are creating. And it is, it's hurting the industry because we know the true numbers. The record label know the true numbers. Spotify know the true numbers because when you have a, a box that go to Spotify and run up your number to like 10 or 100 million streaming Spotify, Spotify know that at the end of the month, they know that you only stream 200. 200 streaming are, yeah, are 10,000 streaming. Yeah, the, algorithm. Mm -hmm. the algorithm, you know, yo, you can, you can, you can mess, you can, you can mess with the algorithm and get fake numbers, but the actual report it's come from physical a person with a physical debit card or a visa card or a master card that's subscribed to it right so that's where the money comes from not from from numbers that you see so if you have if you have a hundred million streaming or whatever it have to be read people so so flavor with the information that you know now and you have already stepped out because like you mentioned earlier you had taken a step back from dancehall and reggae because of situations and circumstances yep. and now this would indicate your return to dancehall and reggae with this new rhythm that you have created what would be what what is your strategic planning to get reggae and dancehall and dancehall in particular based on what the rhythm is that um attention okay so so like the rhythm the all right before i get into that i i want to big you up kashim and i want to big up bones Boss. and i want to big up i want to big up um big a yes uh mighty mike so rest in peace. Yes, I want to big up GT. I want to big up Ellie's. I want to big up Ron Mushet. And I want to big up Sunshine. And a lot more. And the reason why I want to do that, because I reaffirm, um, contribute to my career. If it wasn't for I I wouldn't exist. And I'm going to be, and that is something that I want to say, you know, live. That is, if it wasn't for I FM, I would not be here. You know, you guys believe in my music and it was I from that endorsed it. Even Sunshine, I remember one time with Sunshine. Everybody knows Sunshine is a dancer, DJ she love dancer, but she will still take the time to play a one jump record that I put out. You understand me? And this is why I have to like salute I from you know, from for you know that late came on my big ways today. And to answer your question, like the recuperating what I'm doing, I'm going to do something different that no, no other producer have done in, um, done in dance uh, and reggae. So I'm actually going to come to Jamaica to, to launch the rhythm. And actually, I'm going to, I'm going to bring it to the people, which I'm planning to do it, do it at Uptown Mondays. And I'm going to actually bring 
bring TMZ. I'm gonna bring TMZ down yeah, no, to TMZ. cover. Nice. That's good. That's yeah, good. yeah. I'm gonna bring TMZ down to cover it, and a few people from Shade Room and some of the international press to actually cover to cover the the, the vibe of what authentic dancehall and reggae is and the culture. Because internationally, they, they they love the culture. Let me and, and again look at it. If DJ Khaled gonna put out something new, where where DJ Khaled come? Jamaica to suck up our energy. Beyonce, she was struggling with her album. They come to Jamaica riding around on a bike. Her album did better than any one of her albums, all because they come to Jamaica and capitalize off our culture. So why can't we? Why can't we, the producer and we, the artists, yeah. do that? You understand? So, and this is why my return is more is more like to educate um, the artists them. Let them know that, yo, we need to do proper contract. We need to do proper, um, split sheet. You know? Yeah, we need to, we need to, we need to, yeah, we need to get into the business of it. And not only that, we need to, we need to, sh we need to, to start respecting dancehall because, as I said to you, the international community, they, they love it. And this is why mm -hmm. I'm inviting down, um, TMZ to cover it, to, because they, they want to see, they want to cover it, they want to run it, you understand? And this is why I'm doing that. I wanted to say to you, I'm going to be doing a major campaign in Jamaica just to ensure that, you know, this, this rhythm get out there, you know, to the people because it's authentic dance art. And every single DJ in IRFM will be getting the project. I'm also going to do a DJ competition because a lot of, a lot of, um, Artists, they do competition where right. people is dancing to the song. So right. my thing, I'm going to do a DJ spin-off, right? So like the, the DJ who can spin the rhythm, the spin the rhythm will win 5K US. And I'm going to do that collaboration with, with, with IRFM because IRFM is the number one. You know, it's, you know, I'm overseas and I listen to IRFM to, to hear what is going on back home. So I'm definitely going to collaborate with IRFM on this. Are you yes. are you then um awesome. also strategic flavor in terms of the artists that you want to put on the rhythm? I hear you say initially that it is your welcoming trap artists as well to say hold them DJ upon the rhythm. Right. But because of what it is and what you're trying to do with it, are you strategic in terms of hand picking who you want to be a part of, of this project? Yes. And like for me. I'm kind of like, I'm going for, for now, as a rollout, I'm, I, I, I want to collaborate with, um, my art, like, like with Sean Paul, the Bounty Killer, the Beanie Man, the Baby Sham, the, the Capitan, you know, the, the Sizzler, the Bojo Band, and the Elephant Man, and even the art, even the archive, you know, the Goofy, you know, the General yes. Degree, the Rounded, all of them, because, I believe that there should be a balance, Definitely. right? And for me, I want to start producing those artists because if you check the streaming, a lot of these artists, they are the artists who actually have the, 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 the real numbers. And all they need is just for new records, you know, to come out to them so the people can see them, the younger generation can see that. And for me, I, I'm going to start out with the veteran artists and then I'm going to incorporate some of the the, the 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 new artists which even the record for them um there's this artist that i like that i also um record him on the, on the beat his name is diani he's a perfect i like i like him so yeah so yeah so yeah so i record him you know so so on the record for them we have we have we have diani we have we have ayatine you know even even cargo cargo is very talented so cargo is on the is on the oh, take too. care flavor that is big to say cargo it's on it because <laughs> you don't know <laughs> we, we understand that tension between you and cargo so the fact that he's on the rhythm that you know respect to you for doing no, no, because because i i don't i don't care grudge and i always said this as cargo is one of the most talented artists mm. in reggae no doubt he's one of the most talented. And i tell you something i was very happy i was the first person to ever play cargo even if I named Cargo at the time, they didn't name Chicago. Chicago. Yeah. Oh, Chicago. Wow. Chicago. I remember, that's how he was called. And he used to ride on like a scooter. And right inside, mm -hmm. I saw him come and say, Yo, big man, I might tune this, you know, I will, I will play him. So, big up yourself, Chicago. 
Well, yes, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Very talented artist. So yes, he is. he's on. He's on. He's on the project as well. Um, Itana. This is Itana first time yes. actually doing doing a dance off. So Itana is also on the project as well. You know, um, Bojo. Um, and Bojo. And I gotta uh, say, um, you know, yes. you know, we all hear what happened to Bojo. So yeah. uh, I would like to just send condolences to to mm -hmm. Bojo yes, and the my, you know, and, and, and the, the Mari family because you know. What I've just happened, it's just, you know, it's just not good. So, you know, prior up for Bojo and family and things. So, you know, and he's on the rhythm, you know, Elephant Man and being a man, they don't know. Tifa is on the rhythm. Oh my God, there's so much. There's so much artists. I wanted to find from Kamara. How much do we have this rhythm? I want, I want. No, so, so actually. I want to no, but actually, no, I, I send you guys the Elephant Man and the Bojo because IRFM will be the first station that I'm going to play it. We play Elephant Man a while ago. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to play the Bojo, but uh, the Bojo slogan. As the interview progresses, and so we can drop the Bojo. Yeah, can we have to do that? We only have a few minutes because we have another brother coming. Yeah, man, the, 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 the Bojo, the Bojo, trust me, like the Bojo, Bojo, I have tea and everything. Yes, man. Yo, come on, introduce me to and do it the right way. You know, come through, come on, because you know, say, and I'm not my everyone here, and I said, you know, <laughs> go through, come on, introduce me. <laughs> come on, I'm dead. <laughs> go on, come on. Look, I'm talking. I would have not tried this. Flick it. Flick it. We're off it. Jump. I would not afraid for you, is it? Flick it. See what I'm catching up. Them for no sir. Watch the slogan, never done it program Mass and guys alone, we fear, we fear no man Okay, Mr. Man, you think you're tough like old Hogan Tough me do the thing, but you want to do this up around All right, watch the slogan, never done it program Mass and guys alone, we fear, we fear no man Okay, Mr. Man, we sing so tough like old Hogan Tough me test the pattern, and I do this up around Them don't know the truth, most of them was just some little youth And them don't know the reason, why man just decide to revolute How do you them get them gun ya, yeah. and how take them for shoot Them don't know the days and man have been dash with clown smoot People can't bear, arms zones everywhere This camera them a drop through to all the money share Man turn in a hit man, they a couple night here Tell them the one this year fi look clear She a job living it, life improve The more we get modern, and the more we a lose Enough can't be break, but the wrong way in them shows If we can't trust the poor, then we not trust the news Watch the slogan, I'm never ah. done it program Mass and guys alone, we fear, we fear no man Okay, Mr. Man, you think you're tough like old Hogan Tough me do the thing, but you want to do some wrong Alright, watch the slogan, never done it program Mass and guys alone, we fear, we fear no man Okay, Mr. Man, we think you're tough like old Hogan Tell me do the thing, but you want to do some wrong I'm a bad boy, yeah, 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 yeah you know your body up, money up. I wanna hear say yes, I wanna hear say yes. Aye, yeah. Girl, pack up your chest and walk out. From the jail, jail, jail. Girl, you can't hear your mouth. You're not jail, jail, jail. I like how you deal with my girl. You know, come on, very nice too. You know, just don't waste time with my rhythm. You know, come on, because you know I and I gonna be a little yeah. upset. You know, yeah, right, this is dance song. This yes. is that uh, yeah, this, yes. this is definitely, yeah. definitely I'm loving the sample and the way the authenticity of it, it comes across. And we are I got, I got it from Dave Kelly. I got it from Dave Kelly. Though. Let me ask a question. Mm -hmm. It's just a thing with producers, but when they're in the studio listening to a tune, me don't know then holding a hot crick neck. You do it, <laughs> Paul B. York do it, the man of them do it. When a tune I go, I saw them. It's 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 our one of plan to get crick neck or what? I, but I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And 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 yo, yes. guess who's on the rhythm too? Tell me. Singer J. No, that's Singer a voice. J. That's no, a listen. Voice. As, I said, as, I, as I said to you that this rhythm, it's going to it's going to bring back dance all and and yeah. unity as well. Because the younger artists we need for them to understand. actually yeah. understand what reggae and dancehall is and and also to study it study the bounty study the beanie study the king yellow man study the sizzler the capitan you understand me the baby sham the elephant man the lexus study them because 
their genius and these artists have a, a huge impact on the world and people love them and yeah. we, i just need the young artist them to just please let's make good dancehall music not not trap dancehall please i may sound away but trust me the world don't like it they just don't like it it's 16 years now and it has not won it it, it, it have done more damage i, I, I understand that some guys are driving you know, bands you know, and you know, flavor, yeah, yeah. Uh, listening to you talk and also highlighting the number of entertainers that you're going to be working Wally. with and I know normally you would use your social media platform to vent and talk about stuff in the business. So I can see like personally for you, you're also in a different and a better space as you talk about unity. Would you say you're in a different space and frame of mind in comparison to some of what you have spoken, you know, so freely about across your, your, your social media platforms? I find Christ and I find peace. So, you know, um, I, I move on. I've said my piece. I mean, I, I, mean, I let every one of the artists them know how I feel, how, how, I, how, how, I, how I felt, because a lot of them hurt me. They're like, they, I mean, like really hurt me. I've done so much for them. And the things, what they said about me and all of that, you know, it just put me in a dark place, you know, but... I'll, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll give it this word. I'll give it this phrase, Kamar. There's always opportunity in adversity. You see, I agree with that. Anytime you see them things that reach you, you just watch mm -hmm. it and see. You may not see it right now, but a bigger, better, more glorious thing is going to happen. And so no, I, I, and this is why for me, I I said my piece, and I still love, and I still still respect them. And I'm going to say this, and I know Queen Africa is listening because when I post something to the, when I friend post a comment, mm -hmm. she actually wrote something to say, oh, make sure you talk the truth to say, oh, right, daddy, don't touch me there. And I'm going to say this to Queen Africa. Like, for, for me, I respect you as, as an artist and you're very talented. And I don't think we should be fussing and fighting. I said my piece. I said, I, Arrange the song, I mix, master the song, direct the video for, for Daddy Don't Touch Me There. That song was that song was actually created to bring awareness mm -hmm. of what the things that is on in Jamaica. I come from I come from a community in Augustana called Cargos in the villa. And when there is a lot of crime and violence there, the police and soldier, when they come to the community to protect, to protect us, by the time they leave, most of the, 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 the 13, 12, 14 year old young girls were, were pregnant by these people who were supposed to protect them. And mm -hmm. this was something that no one was like brave to talk about. And Queen Africa was brave enough to, to actually Make the song because we, we made the song together, but I just don't want her to to feel like I'm trying to take all the credit. I'm not taking all the credit. I'm just saying to her that this song was produced for the country and for everyone who faced this demon. It is not about just one person, you know. And this song was not produced. I I I was in any way make for Queen Africa Daddy, Derek Martin. And this song was not was not about that. This was song was about for our country and the people and Queen Africa. Trust me, I respect you. Let it go. Let's move on. I don't need to fight with you. If you want to record some music, come on. I like that. Let's move on. And um Yeah, let's move on. Flavor, uh, I wanna wish you all the best with the career because obviously it's doing very well. Um the project, Thank you. the project and the promotion that you have coming up. Keep mm -hmm. us in the loop so that we can support mm -hmm. and get you going out there as much. IRFM, as I said to you, IRF, every DJ in IRFM is going to get it. IRFM contribute to my career. If it wasn't for IRFM, I wouldn't be flying on private jet. I wouldn't be producing all these these superstars. I'm happy. 
the private jet, but you just fly <laughs> come out the other day, it have a flat, you know, you need to call the man to fix the tire. Because you don't know what kind of plane you have fly upon, brother. Trust. But man, Tamara I... Flavor McGregor, you, it, it's good, it's good catching up with you and glad that you are in a better place and space, you know? So we look yeah, forward man, better to place, the man. Better place. and the collaboration. Keep the positivity up, keep the good work up, my brother, and keep shining. Yeah, yeah and I'm going to say one more thing before I go. So Tifa song, yeah. say yes, added to over... Uh, 20 different playlists, both in America, Canada, UK. I obtained song is also added to playlist. Eterna song is added to playlist. Mm -hmm. IFM, you guys will get the juggling. So, and I will visit IFM when I come to Jamaica. Make sure you. No wrong. All right. I'm David McGregor. You. No All right. Thanks. Oh, All right. Don't forget to upset. Link to the show. I'm a student. Yes. <laughs> Bring up my down. All right. Flavor. Big All right. Love. All right. Come back. All right, cool. All right. Yeah, man, respect. All right, that All was right. producer Flavor McGregor. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, what a conversation. Very Glad interesting. that he's definitely in, you know, like a, a better space and a different space, like he said. And to the point where, you know, he has recorded um, Cargo or working with Cargo again, following you know, what transpired. So that in itself is a good look and shows growth, certainly. Sometimes a little war make the best music, you know. Mm -mm. Uh, yeah, man. Sometimes the war make the best music, you know. <laughs> Bring up yourself, come on. You don't know who's waiting on my tune, you know. All right, come on. I did it loud. <laughs> I know, right? Yes. Can't top, contain it. Top so. man is in the building. Rich. I know, right? I just feel like saying, eh, eh. Eh, eh. Say my go answer. No. Eh, eh. Eh. Are you doing that, youth? What? Welcome. All right. Welcome, Listen. top man, to the e yeah. It is your first time here. Yes, sir. Welcome. That is it. Top man, how the name Top man forward now? You know, it forward from uh, freestyle. Let me do. Oh, because we know the freestyle, though, yeah, the expensive yeah, style. Yeah, I say, if you get one to Top man, you see me? So yes. At the time, I work with my football name. Right. Until Sean is there. I say, yo, you know what I say, Top man, if you name. Ah, there you go. Yeah. So, I so him say, name you? Yeah. All right. All okay, right. Okay, so, so you made a transition from football to music. Talk to us about that. Yeah, it was a very difficult transition. Okay. But it was very it You know. don't regret it? No, I don't regret right. it. Right. You, you can't play football for your airline. No. You're tired. That's so yeah. So, I mean, talk to us yeah. about if your, your get football. The, if I get the football scholarship, though. The news is good today. Yeah, if I get the football scholarship from school days, though, then I would have pursued the career in I football. In I football. But I didn't want to stuck up playing in the Premier League. Ah, I got, got you, got you, got you, got you. They said, no, eh, eh. I didn't hear the you. But what I want to ask you, though, um, we see where uh, leader of the opposition, Mark Golden, he he hopped onto the, the trend and created his very own <laughs> TikTok video of, of, of that song. Were you surprised by that? No, no, it's been a surprise because, like, from before everything, me always just say, suppose one of them, no, one of them either, either, do, yeah. the, um, do, the, do it. You know, me I say that, that make it sound more beneficial. You know, they, they, I see, um, mm -hmm. I just say, you know, I just, I feel just careful and put out in the atmosphere because that, man, my money You made and it came out, yeah. It, isn't me? So, I'm not mean, really surprised. So did, did it do did it give the song itself a boost? I see that you posted it on your social media yeah, as well. Yeah, of course. Of course. <laughs> it did justice as well, man. How yeah. did that track oh, go yeah. ahead, sorry? No matter sell up top man, okay. You say you look rich. No, make top man finish where my yeah, saying top man, yeah, up. We are, we are putting like a social media <laughs> your thing. Yeah, 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 like. yeah. So all that song came about. I don't, I don't say I vibe me a vibe in our Airbnb. I just vibe me a vibe in our Airbnb and we just did it and I got asked a couple of questions and I say, really and truly, the question I'm going to ask about girls still was some type of girl and yeah. what this and I say, no. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. And then, and then, and then, oh. just, and then uh -uh. the catch on the track. The catch on the track. Just like that. that. With that me name the record at the time and oh. I just, it was just that it happened for this record. I was mm -hmm. doing an official recording. It it it, it, it slipped out. Accident. Yeah, yeah, so I said, all right, here I go on. No. Uh -uh. No. Nope. No, sir. You don't know Ooh. about that. And then I said, no, sir. <laughs> this active man, and then just make it steer. Yeah, just yeah, make it steer. Yeah, just make it steer. Hey, we need to play that tune there. We can't play a tune. Uh -uh, can't. Well, no. No. It is uncooked. 
<laughs> from raw. from if from editing. running yeah. to to no sir, I think like you know with your talent you kind of show your versatility. Like you <laughs> sing, you DJ. Of the two um, art forms, which which do you prefer more? Sing, sing, I prefer to sing. Yeah. Ah. So I'm give me a piece of running. Yeah. I'd froze my day, cold like a four degrees, I know what I mean. Be things are going, but me and all it in was the cause of happiness. Father God, my bank, you make me know my fee. In a music, I'm only type of dopamine. Piano take me over, but it don't reveal. Me meet a lot of fake with the pussy real. Father God, are you alone? No, my fear. You hear me, please, steer the wheel. What? Oh. Running and running and running and keep running. Rich. Yeah, rich mm -hmm. vibes. Yeah, I mean, rich vibes. So tell love me, that. tell me why you prefer singing more. Do you feel like when you sing, it brings out more emotions and you connect with the masses I've, more? Yeah, why various you feel? reasons include mm -hmm. the fact that it allows me to express more, and also mm -hmm. it is more really more relatable, right? And it That's reaches true. people emotion, and then as well, um, inspirations like. My father and also my father. My father mostly sing J artists. Right, that's true. Mm -hmm. So all them look at things they make me more comfortable singing. Right, so now I right, start right. sing with my own flow to make it reach a better audience than we want to reach. All right, you know one of the things. And you're, you're more powerful, in my opinion, in like singing. when you sing. You hear mm -hmm. the vocal range. Mm -hmm. Um, tell us a little bit about management. Tell us about your social media handles, how people can reach you. Yeah. Social media, you can contact me at Tapman Music Instagram, official Tapman TikTok. Um, but any business inquiries, you can contact management, Ricardo only it's Okay. And yeah. that's and he has a page to our number. Yeah, Ricardo only it's only and it's only hits. Yeah. And that's on Instagram yeah. also. Yeah. That Lara. Is. That this is rich. I am I am on a mission to spread positivity and consciousness. This is a direct quote from a post that you made on social media in your caption of a song promoting on the run. Tell us a little bit about this mission and and the direction you want to go into in being more positive and conscious. All right. Firstly, um the mission. It always starts from like what a vivid, what but that is the vision like from a kid growing up, what I see mm -hmm. happening. So I see my father um, using his music platform to do positive works as well. So what happened now? I was inspired from that. But right. also I had to do what I had to do, regardless of the things yeah. that I want to do. I had to do what I had to do. For yourself. Yeah, for yeah. myself yeah. to make sure that I'm out there, which is like the songs them like the girl code and all them type of songs that where everybody love. <laughs> you see me? So yes. for me, I have to do now, since recently, and not since recently alone, but overall now, I start pre like, yeah, the more positive side can go out there that really sell, like, right. Last. You see me? Last. So that people can get because in the morning we go get up and listen one positive song or something me probably not going to get up and listen no it ain't in the early morning <laughs> <laughs> you see me yeah, you can't see start your day on so, that the mission now is to just get more of those songs out right you see me I show a different side of that man mm -hmm. you, you, you speak about your dad dad pretty often who is your father father Dylan Ayaside Hines also a reggae artist um, recently Passed on. Oh, our yeah. condolences. condolences to yeah. your brother. Yeah. So now it make it, it make it more a mission, more of a of a different. A, meaning. You have a bigger mission, or you have more mm -hmm, purpose. Mm -hmm. Wow, but I may I tell you. I like I, I like that, and you know we are looking forward to it because you know, like you said, you 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 prefer the singing side of things. You find that you connect singing with side, people more, and you also mention that when you personally get up in the morning, you know you want to listen to something positive, and you want something yeah. with the long longevity, and and create music that is lasting. Um, how do you think your fans will react to that, or have you developed a strategy where you're giving them a bit of both worlds? Well, I've been giving them like both both type of music. However, right. 
um, persons know I'm capable of doing a lot of good music. Persons know that persons in most persons' opinion, my strong point is when I'm singing and I'm keeping it real right, with all my letting out the emotions and everything. Right, right. Mm -hmm. right but right. persons know as well that I have to do the songs to keep around. The songs of the market. Isn't me? You have to do what you have to do. Do what you have to do. Isn't me? Top man, your style, your swagger, it up. And we want to wish you all the best with the career because Respect, obviously you're making an indelible mark Respect, right now. And mm -hmm. um, we Where can we see you perform next? Yeah. How the calendar look? Look rich. Mm. Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> thing how well I start out, but we are working on getting some shows overseas. Overseas. Yeah. Okay. Who is management and how can we book you? Management, as I said, record all said. it's mm -hmm. right. Any business inquiries, you can oh, contact right. him on, on the your page. social. And the, and, and, and social. the number is on the page as well. You on the social media page. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Anybody you want handle? to pick up? Huh? Excuse me? No, go so, ahead. Yeah, you, no, he mentioned the handle, but she asked mm -hmm. if you could mention the, 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 Insta, the, the, the social media handles for oh, you the, again. The social media angle for Instagram is Stockman Music. Um, any business inquiries, though? Ricardo, only Ricardo. Is. Yeah, it's easier okay. to get to. It's easier and, to get and, to me by getting to it. And him. Ricardo, what's his name? Ricardo only. Is. And 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 Ricardo, this is a page that is his Instagram page. Yeah, and and, and it, the number and contact and everything, everything is. is everything is under his page. Anybody want to big up before you go? Yeah, man. Firstly, big up God. True. Isn't it? Yeah, big up, big up everybody is right now. But just big up God for now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. All right, we love that. And top man, keep it positive. I, I'm looking out for your, your positive and conscious mission. Respect. Man. So the, the slack one, eh, eh. Mm. No. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to still do a little thing now and then. It's going to be my first work for and getting out. It's bad though. It's bad. It's like raw, but it's bad. Yeah, man. All right. So that's our program tonight. Top man, we want to wish you all the best with the career. Bless keep you, us man. updated on what you're doing in new projects and stuff. Yes. Make a rick. Make a rick. Make a rick. Make a get them. All right. Respect, man. All right. Yeah. Rich. All right. Make them really friendly. Yeah, man. Yeah, make, them, <laughs> make them iry friendly, please. Big up All right. So, of course, love, love. that was Top Every Man time. coming through. Yeah, um, you know, really awesome yes, talent. So, we're definitely looking forward to his conscious and positive mission. That's our time. Big up to the entire team. Big up first, of course, producer Flavor McGregor for coming through Top Man and our music artist, The Sheriff. Yes. And big up Top Man again, once again. So, Top Man. Flavor McGregor, the sheriff. We want to also big up all our big ups who came on. Um, thanks to all of them. And of course, we want to say a special mention to the team right now. So we want to say thanks to our producers, uh, Rashona Fitzhenley, Shamara Preston and Vivine Stewart and Jody and Dawkins, technical engineer, DJ Kamar, and technical operator, Brianna White, or um, what do you call it now? We call it our technical operator in studio is DJ Lollipop. And our social media specialist is Peter Broadba. Join us next week for another exciting edition of the eBuzz. I'm DJ Bones. And I'm Kishima Francis. Mutabaruka is up next with the cutting.